Muscle's got to have eyes in the... Muscle... Puff has to have eyes in the back of his head. Referee calls for the bell. And You want to get hardcore puff? Yeah! yeah. I think he changed his mind. Yeah. Brandon Kirk said, if you want to get hardcore, let's do it. And he's not even, he's not wasting time. Has the bell rung yet? Uh, I don't believe so. Brandon Kirk on the hunt. Oh, he's found it. Is that, he's got a chair. And he just, he just handed Puff a chair. And I was throwing another one in the ring. Maybe we are gonna get a death match here, James. I don't know if you've ever seen a tournament of death from Combat Zone. You don't want a death match. Well, I, I think Puff doesn't know what he's asking for here. Wow. Putting his head in the lion's mouth, so to speak, here. What is happening? Are they going to have a staring contest? What? This is, this is one way to start a wrestling match. Oh. Uh, Going shot for shot. Oh, now Puff, yeah. That, it's all funny games. They get punched in the face. And now Puff looks to be upset here. A little bit more stank on those punches. These guys are gonna, gonna knock each other out. Ooh. Oh, there go the chairs. But they're still just trading blows. And now Puff getting the upper hand. Puff with a whip punch. Down goes Kirk. A little shimmy there, a little. Now Puff with an Irish whip. Sidewalk slam there from Puff. Puff's got a little Steph Curry in him. What? You don't watch basketball, do you? I've never seen Steph Curry pull off a sidewalk slam. Man with the shimmy, Scott. Oh. Imagine what it'd be like if he did, though. Irish whip into the corner and avalanche there. Trying to drive the air out of the lungs of Brandon Kirk. Oh, and there's Patel on the outside, grabbing on, hold the ankle, puff! And holding him in position for that boot directly to the jaw. And as you mentioned to begin, Casey Patel obviously inserting herself in this matchup. Oh! And now inserting Puff's jewels puffs. against that ring post. Puff's Puff's! And now she's trying to walk around like she didn't do anything. She's saying to the fans, I didn't cheat. I beg to differ. And now Puff, in a bad way, as Brandon Kirk is now in firm control of this matchup. And CZW already, already has momentum. James, let's face it, momentum coming into this match has picked up a victory already. Yeah, and Brandon Kirk, one of their young and up and coming blue chippers in the organization. CZW known for creating a lot of, wow, known for creating a lot of future stars. Well, but at the same time, James, Smash Wrestling, and to our credit, we're starting to develop a little bit of a reputation ourselves for the same thing. Puff being one of the blue chippers that we have here in Smash Wrestling. Oh, absolutely, and I think that's what makes these shows so intriguing, is that you're going to see not only the best that each company has to offer, as uh, you'll also see a lot of the best up and comers. As Kirk now with a knee right the side of the head of Puff. This match is over. It's a very good litmus test for a lot of these young stars. Cover here from Kirk. And Puff just, he more rolled out of that than kicked out of it. And he took a good shot right to the side of the head. And perhaps all it would have taken is Brendan Kirk to hook that leg. And this thing would have been over. A lackadaisical cover. Allow Puff to get that shoulder up. Oh, Puff! Getting a second win here, trying to fight back into this matchup. Whip punch, blocked that time and a headbutt. Went to the well one too many times with that whip punch and... Oh. Enziguri 
many shots to the head has Puff taken in this matchup already? Whoa! Oh, the Magic Dragon suplex! Cover! Two! He has further all. He grabbed the hole of the bottom rope, James. I couldn't even see it from our vantage point, but I'll trust the official. Great ring awareness shown by Brandon Kirk. They're able to grab that bottom rope before the three count. And again, Puff going right back to the jabs here. And again with the whip punch. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kirk ducks the close line and hits one of his own. Kirk into the cover. Two in. Oh, he almost got him. I thought that was it, James. And the interesting thing you got to notice there, Scott, is that it took all of Brandon Kirk throwing all of himself at Puff just to get him down to the mat. And in a match like this, you want to you wanna out-endure a man like Puff. You want to show your endurance is superior. But it takes more to knock a guy like that down. Well, and, and the one thing worth mentioning as well, James, is that, that the endurance of Puff is, of Puff is, is deceiving. He, it is. It is. Absolutely. He is extremely agile for a man his, his size. Extremely durable for a man his size. And the attrition for a man his size is unreal. As he just catches Kirk from behind here. Reverse waist lock. Puff the Magic Dragon suplex. Dropping Kirk on the back of his head. He's, he might be out. But hang on. Could tell. What under the, what's that? She's got, she's got a stop sign. And she's, tell, she's telling Puff to stop. It's working. Now Puff's always been one to obey traffic signals. Oh, wait! Punch a girl in the face? And referee Jay just hopped over, rolling Casey Patel, who just exit stage left. Oh! There's Puff. Look for that world's strongest slam. Connecting with it. Cover two. Puff picks up a victory. Here is your winner, Puff. Battle of Blue Chippers, Puff comes up victorious, but he punched the girl in the face to do it. Well, I mean, he, he had a stop sign to hit the girl in the face. That's almost worse. You have a point.